Oh, hello. Come with me. I'm going to tell you a story. To date, we know many things about our, our planet Earth, such as the driest and habitable place on Earth, Egypt, the tallest mountain in the world, found here in Tibet, including the most boring place on our planet. However, there is one thing we do not know that much about. There's been speculation over the years, what, whether it's a giant ball of iron or liquid hot magma, but fortunately nobody knows what's truly at the center of our Earth. Some say it's impossible to get to. However, I've discovered new evidence that places the center of Earth only 35 miles away from Plainview. It's what we're doing today. We are traveling to the center of Earth. Let's go. We've now completed the first part of our journey. We've made it successfully out of the library. I know for certain that people are wrong about it. It is not liquid hot magma at the center of the Earth. In fact, the center of the Earth is very cold. Almost like Antarctica. Or Plainview, Texas during the winter time. Which is why we need a different kind of equipment for this journey. Come with me to my vehicle and I'll show you what we now, need. Now that we're here, first thing you need it's a walking stick. Nine dollars at Walmart. Very good stuff. <laughs> Put this back here for now. Next, we need a scarf. Um, this is not a normal scarf. This is a traditional Middle Eastern egal, but it does the same thing. You want to fold it like so and place it over your face. Sorry. Here we go. Now that we've completed that step, you want to protect your head. Like I said, it's like Antarctica. And any exposed flesh will literally fle freeze off. Yes, guys, any exposed flesh. <laughs> Next, you need a furry jacket. Notice. The fur around the head. This wards off the polar bears that live at the center of the earth. Because this tells them that you are not afraid to kill an animal. It says you have done it before. <laughs> and you want every advantage you have against a polar bear. They're vicious creatures. Okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Next, goggles. For those of you in the audience tonight that have climbed Mount Everest, you know why I need these. <laughs> Make sure the hood is covered. And lastly, but most certainly not leastly, gloves. Without hands, you will die. That's what happened to Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Everyone thinks she was flying around the world. Go on. We can truly begin our adventure. However, I say again, if any of you frighten easily or get motion sickness, please stop watching this video right now. Because this journey is going to be intense. And now that we're in the car, nothing can stop us. Our next stop is the center of Earth. I may have been a little bit hasty with my previous statement. Unfortunately, we may be going to the center of the earth. But vehicles still need gasoline. Just ask Amelia Earhart. Now that that is done, I can safely say we have enough gas to drive there. So nothing can stop us now. Yes. Now that we have the appropriate rations, nothing will stand in our way. We seem to have hit a little snag. The engine was not ready for the extreme cold. 
We're going to have to take the rest of the journey on foot. I think there's something wrong. We don't know where we are. We've been using this map, but I don't know if we're in the right place. I know what's wrong. I seem to have brought my map of Costa Rica. I don't know how much further I can go. I've been hiking for several, several days. I don't know if I can make it. The only thing that keeps me going. We've got to be close. We, wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, we made it. Oh, we made, wow, there's only 1,100 people here. I would have never thought of that. Oh, we made it. We, we made it. It's daytime. I must have passed out. Okay. okay, the same thing happened to Amelia Earhart. But we're close. Look, look how close we are. We can make it. Come on. It's the beginning of time. Man has speculated as to how old the Earth truly is. There are two very popular trains of thought for this. The first, many Christians believe that the earth was created by God some 5,000 years ago. Scientists also believe that the earth was caused by a big bang roughly a billion years ago. Nobody really knows. However, since we have made it to earth, we have discovered new evidence as to the true age of earth. And here it is. <laughs> That's right, the Earth is only 85 years old. In light of this new evidence, we are forced to make a couple of assumptions. And that's what we discovered. Adam and Eve are still alive. We found them in this New Jersey phone book. They're right there. Now, if you'll come with me, we're literally dozens of yards from the center of Earth. Come, we'll I can see the center of Earth from where I'm at right now. But at the current location on our journey, we have stumbled across a religious facility of this region. There is a strange marking on the wall here. We should keep going, men. This could be a pagan facility. <laughs> Wonderful news! According to Google Earth, we have reached the geographical center of Earth. Ironically enough, it is in fact a Baptist church. Now that we have reached this location, they have left warnings telling us to turn around and go back. We are here, and I feel I must tell you this is the most dangerous part of the journey. This is why I've brought my gun. We must stand prepared. I'm going to keep guard. I shot one. Come with me, we'll examine it. John Lennon. What are you doing here? You shot me in the eye. You should have been dead. 